access do you think the government should have to our personal information? That's the question many people are asking after it's been revealed that DMV could be sharing your driver's license photo with ICE mm. as well as the FBI. CBS 17's Holden Kawicki joins us live from Chapel Hill where he's getting answers about the purpose behind the program. Holden. Well, Marius Angel, the FBI and ICE say that they're using DMV databases to track down criminals and people who are have been missing using facial recognition technology. However, a lot of people locally say that they feel that they are having their, in their privacy invaded. It's a stop that we all have to make every few years. I was just getting my driver's license um, because I just purchased a car. My driver's license I need to renew because the original one's a little bit smeared. A picture is required on all North Carolina driver's licenses, but since January of 2018, the DMV joined 20 other states allowing the FBI and ICE access to those same pictures for facial recognition. If ICE is using it for using it for extra legal means, I would be suspect of it. Well, when I hear that, it sounds like an obstruction of uh, trust, you know, through my government. And um, honestly, it sounds like a breaching of, you know, my personal space and my, uh, my privacy. The program is raising red flags with more than just private citizens. The U.S. Government Accountability Office found that the FBI has not fully followed the privacy laws and policies or done enough to ensure the accuracy of its facial recognition program. I pay for some of the services that my government provides, but I don't think I pay for them to breach my trust and my, and my identity. I just think it's a, a, a bit of an overreach in terms of civil, you know, against civil liberties. A DMV spokesman tells me that while they do allow the use of facial recognition software in their database, they do not allow any law enforcement agency, including the federal government, full access. But even that is too much access for many people. Yeah, I would like them to, to leave that, not be one of the states that does it. I just don't think this is right to treat uh, any U.S. citizen like this. Now, the North Carolina DMV does provide a disclaimer to all agencies that using this facial recogni recognition technology does not guarantee the accuracy of a search and that arrests should not be made solely using that information. Live in Chapel Hill, Holden Krawicki, CBS 17 News.